Welcome back to It's a Wild Life with Monica. So, this episode, I'm going to take you onto my property. I'm going to flip over some logs and we're going we're to see what critters can be found under a log. So, I just flipped this one over. And it looks like we have some of these centipedes. These are, I think they're, they're not house centipedes. Um, it might be bark centipedes of some sort. They're pretty cool though another guy let's see we got some eggs I believe these are slug eggs slug or um, snail eggs and then we got a millipede That's that one log. Flip over this one next. There's some more of our little centipede friends. Let's see. Oh, that's a cool little beetle. I will have to ID that one later. I don't know what that one is. Looks like we got a spider here. Oh no. Now it ran away, so now I can't. Oh, there it is. No, he's gone. I can't find it now. Oh, look at that giant worm. Look at the size of that guy. It's huge. They're good decomposers, so we need we need worms. They break down all the dead and decaying matter, so they serve their purpose. There's a wood louse, roly poly, sow bug. They're also decomposers. Pel people call them pell bugs. I've always called them pell bugs growing up. Okay. Let's keep walking on. I'm actually off a, on a public trail right now that runs behind my house, but we'll sneak back over onto my property and flip over some of the logs that I found salamanders under in the past. There's a robin singing. I always love this time of year, all the bugs. And insects are starting to come out. Amphibians are breeding and laying eggs. Birds are starting to sing. I don't know if I can make this one. Oh, this one's still rooted in the ground. Down in the ground. That's cool fungi. Let's 
see. I checked that one last. Come up and check this one. One, two, three. We got another pill bug. Another centipede. I'm not looking like anybody's under this one. Oh, there's a slug. Come check over this other flat one. Oh, there's one. Eastern red bat. I think it's the most common salamander, at least found in Connecticut, that I found in Connecticut. They're pretty little guys. I like them a lot. And they can re they can regrow their tails if they get cut off at all. Which is really neat. I can put you back. Bye little guy. I don't want to squish you under there, so I'm gonna gently let you go. Nice. Probably the best find you can get under a log in this area. Let's see, we'll check. A woodlouse spider. Oh, they're so cool. They're so cool. Look at how beautiful he is. Okay, buddy. I don't want to bother you too much. Well, put your home back. There's another slug. I always flip the logs back over so the critters that are under there have some shelter and won't get picked off as easily. Some sort of worm. Not sure what this is, but I've seen them before. Ah, oh, you can hear the red belly in the background. Red belly woodpeckers around.
love this shelf fungus. It's one of my favorite funguses. Look how pretty it is. Okay. Chuck these two and then I think I'm done turning over logs. Oh, look at that. more salamanders so I was told two different things one that these are the lead backed morph of the eastern red backed or that they're actually the four toed um, so I'm not 100% sure on these guys probably the red backed but Oh, one of my favorite ones. There you go, bud, buddy. Oh, I hear a hawk in the background calling. And look at this one. Look at how he goes into the hole until only his tail sticks out. It's pretty cool how they do that. Cover them back up. I'll just check this one more and see what we can find today. And some sort of worm, beetle larva. Oh, hello. Here's another woodlouse spider. These guys are harmless. So even if you get bit by one, which is highly unlikely, they are not medically significant to humans. So I could literally see if he would go on my finger. Oh, look at this one. I don't know what that is. But like I said, even if he um, did bite me, they're not medically significant, so they can't kill you or even give you a bad reaction. Oh, look at what we have here. I wanted to point out one more thing. So we do actually have snails that live. I, I was very shocked when I found my first snail underground. Usually I see them in my pond. But there are ground ground snails. They're very tiny. So I'll just show you how tiny this one is. That's my pointer finger, and then that's the snail. Pretty pretty cool. Hello, little woodlouse spider. I like you. They're so pretty. Okay, so that's about it for my time today with your time today with. It's a wildlife podcast. I hope you enjoyed my little tour today showing you what you can find under the logs if you really know what to look for. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.